Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my third controller movement tutorial. And this is the final tutorial that I have. So basically this is using UCR and it's probably the best method out of the two others that I've showed previously. The others were as a Python command prompt and the other was read WASD. This one I believe is better because there's less chance of getting banned. There's no aim assist option with this and it's fairly simple to set up and there's barely any noticeable input delay. Alright, so basically first thing you want to do is go to the link in my description and download these three files from these three links. So one, interception, zip, boom, second one, download this, third one, download this. Make sure it's the latest version also, this is latest release. Latest release, latest release, make sure you download the one on the top. Alright, so once you have all these, you're going to take it to your desktop and extract it. So you're going to need something like 7-zip or WinRAR to extract it to your desktop. And after you have it extracted, you're going to want to open up Interception first. So once that opens, you're going to click it. And click Command Line Installer. And then up here, you want to right click and click Copy Address. Then you're going to want to come down to the search bar and type CMD and run that as administrator. Click yes. Now when that opens up, you're gonna come here where after it says Windows slash system32, you're gonna type CD space and then paste the thing you just copied. So copy this, then I paste it after CD. So control V. And after that, you're gonna click enter, okay? And now you're gonna wanna go to the description in my YouTube video and copy the command that says copy and paste. And you're gonna wanna paste that here. And you're going to paste it right here. So paste that, and then you're gonna click enter again. Now I already have it installed, so it's not gonna install it. Basically, it's going to say to restart your PC, you're going to restart your PC, you're going to restart it, and you're going to come back on. So I don't need to do this, so I'm going to skip to the next part. Now, once your PC is rebooted, you're going to open up this middle folder with the disk and the computer. The first virtual gamepad, next, and you're going to click install, and you're going to very basic install. Just click next and everything, and accept the terms of service. So, once you're done with that, next going to want to open up UCR, open up the middle one with the grayish logo, double click it. Now, I already have a profile created, but I'm going to create another one to show you. So I'll make this full screen, come here, click the little add profile, and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it controller. Move. Now the issue right here is that I'm having right now is that sometimes in this software, the your keyboard will not show up as the first interception, but what you need to do to fix that, all you need to do is restart your PC. I'm not going to restart my PC because that's going to obviously disrupt the recording. But basically, you're going to want to select your keyboard as your input device. And then for output device, you're going to scroll all the way down to Xbox 60 controller 1. And you're, then you're going to click create. For example, I'll do it with my mouse just to show you. For example, click create. And then you're going to go to button to access plus. Name it right. Click accept. And then you're going to just click on here. This is going to say obviously wired gaming keyboard or whatever you're going to say click to bind and for right you're going to press d or whatever your input is so i'm going to press obviously it's going to make me press something on my mouse but you're going to press d it's going to show up as d down here and then for here you're going to go to accesses and you're going to do lx now instead of you showing you guys that i'm just going to show you my profile i already created and basically as you can see here my steel series apex pro tkl is showing up and we have over here the Xbox 360 controller as the output device. Now we're, we're gonna, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to do edit profile. And you can see here for the input device I have Steel Series Apex Pro, key D. And down here for output you're just going to clearly select accesses. Then you're going to do LX. And down here you're going to select your left movement key which would be A for me. Then down here you want to select access LX again. But this time you're going to want to change to access when pressed. So this one's 100, and you're going to make this one negative 100, okay? You don't have to do that, is save that, so make sure, make sure you do buttons to access. As you can see, it's very simple, so I'm going to go over what I said again, because that might have been a little confusing for some people. So basically, what we're going to want to do is create profile, name it double movement or controller movement, then you get over here, you're going to select input device, steel series, well, your keyboard, then you're going to say for alpha device, X, Y, C, controller one. Basically, it's going to show up with this screen, but these are going to be blank, obviously. Then you're going to click button to access. It's going to say add a key. You're going to click on it, press D. Then you're going to come down here, choose access LX. Make sure this is zero, make sure this is 100. Then you're going to add a new one. Make sure you click your left movement key, which for me is A. 
Then you're going to come down here and choose access LX again. And then for this one, keep this zero. And then make sure this is negative 100. So once you have that, you can save it. So I'll X out of this part. Save that. And right here, all you want to do the activator before you open up Fortnite is click activate profile. And the controller movement is on. Do you hear that noise? So just minimize this and you open up fortnite and you will have controller movement. all right guys thanks for watching this is the, my third and final method of how to get controller movement on keyboard and mouse